I'm going to show you all how to run the GSC instrument, including turning it on, uh, sample preparation, setting up the software, and saving the data. The first thing that I actually have to do is open this, and this flap here it should be about the same. You turn on the power to the cooling system. For sample preparation, we're going to need two parts. We're going to need this uh, bottom part and then also a, a top part here. In fact, I think we're going to need two of these. Okay, and then we take these over to scale. Okay, for sample preparation, bring it over here, put in that, that piece there, and then you'll put in your sample carefully on top of that and, and record the weight. It needs to be a very small amount, only about 5 to 10 milligrams of powder. After you have your sample in here, you'll put the top on like that. And we can put it into the press. And it's now completely sealed. After that, we can take off these three lids. In fact, these bottom two lids can be hot, so it's smart to use squeezers on them. We have to put in two samples here. One is our actual sample, and one is a reference sample whose weight needs to be the same. So it has a pan and a lid for a sample. Our Reference also needs to have a pan and a lid. And that goes on the back left. And you replace all three of the lids. The software that she uses is this TA Instrument Explorer. And for the DSC, you use this Q20. Once you're here, you only need to concern yourself with these three tabs here. On the summary tab, you can use it to put in a sample name. The pan type is AL, and if you have reported your weight back at the scale, then you input it right here. You also can use this right here to choose your save path. In the Procedure tab, you can set your test up by hitting this Editor button. You highlight it and hit Delete to take away a previous test. Usually a test will initialize a temperature. Then you'll put in a ramp at about 5 or 10 degrees C up to your target temperature. You'll put in an isothermal step to hold for however long. Then you will put in a ramp to take it back down to 20C. And then you end this cycle here. You also can put in here a description of your test. And finally in notes you can put in the operator name. You can change this, but it should always be nitrogen, and the flow rate should probably be 100 milliliters per minute. Um, well, you hit apply. Start your test, you just head up here and hit, hit the play. And it should show up here in the bottom right hand. So our test is complete, we come back, it, it should be saved automatically in the spot that you indicated here. Once you have it, 
you can come to this software, TA Universal Analysis. And you can open the file from wherever it was saved. And once you have his screen up, then you can come up here to view, data table, and spreadsheet. Put in the parameters here, and it'll pop up with an Excel sheet that you can use. When you are finished with everything, you can simply close out the software. You can take these back off and dispose of your sample. And put the tops back on. And finally, you just turn off the cooling system, close the tank. That's it. And if you have any issues, there is a guide here on, on the bench, or you can send an email to Yasek.